Hello! This is Diane, one of five awesome optimists. Thank you for joining me today. I wanted to share something uh, very uh, fascinating that I just experienced a lecture, an online lecture about the uh, the way that your your brain interprets the things that it sees through this sensory uh, filter of our eyes. And in many ways, this is kind of what optimism is like. He had, the presenter had these circles of different color, and some were on a black background and some were on a white background, and asked them to, you know, say which color was the same in actuality. And it wasn't the one that the audience thought. They, it was either gray or orange or blue, and um, it was the gray one that was exactly the same. When you put them next to each other, they were the same uh, quality of color which, you know, makes you wonder about can you really trust the things that you see and also the power of the way that you see things and how it doesn't really matter if what the reality of something is if you see it a certain way that is your reality. It's not that seeing is believing, it's that believing is seeing. And I went to a a beautiful musical this weekend called Man of La Mancha. And if you haven't heard of Man of La Mancha, it's such a beautiful, beautiful, um, it's just a beautiful story. And I had never heard of it before. I, I remembered a song from it um, that I had heard before. Dream the impossible dream. But uh, that's about all I knew um, when I heard it, that, I, that it had been familiar before. But the premise of it is, is this guy is uh, thrown in this dungeon, and as he's awaiting his trial, uh, the fellow prisoners decide to um, put him on trial and determine whether or not he's guilty or whatever. And they consider him to be a madman because of the way that he sees things. For example, he... Um, has this big lance and he goes to fight a dragon, but in actuality it's a windmill. And as he gets closer, he says, oh, they turned it into a windmill. Those, you know, those, <laughs> the wizards turned it into a, you know, a windmill. And so he would, you know, ruin his lance or whatever. But he saw people in a certain way. And in, in particular, he saw this one woman who was named Ms. Aldanza in a, in a particular way. He saw her as a lady and he wanted to see himself as a knight and so that she was, you know, the lady. And she has such a powerful, moving character development that um, I just so identified with. It was just absolutely amazing how uh, the way that we treat somebody and the way that we see somebody is actually what they can become. And studies have been proven over and over, even in classroom situations where they take a group of students and they tell the teacher that they're bright, and so the teacher teaches them like they're bright, and they actually become more bright. And they take a class of, you know, gifted students and tell the teacher that they're a remedial group, and then she treats them accordingly, and their scores go down. So that um, literally it is supported through, you know, empirical data that how we see somebody is literally transforms them. Now this girl, back to Man of La Mancha, Aldonza, she sells her body to the highest bidder in prison. And her, her songs and her demeanor are so uh, powerful and strong and uh, with her walls up that his kindness and his tenderness and the way that he views her uh, literally transforms her and changes her into a different person. In fact, he calls her a new name, Dulcinea. And he says, oh, blessed one, oh, blessed one, Dulcinea, Dulcinea. And it's just so beautiful. And near the end of the, you know, of the play, when he is snapped out of his sort of, quote, madness, uh, she comes to him and, and uh, she recounts to him, don't you know me? And he's like, should I know you? And she's like, it's me, Dulcinea. Oh, it's so beautiful. But he changed her. He changed her forever because of the way that he could see her. And that's the same for us. What we see in people, they will become. And it's, you know, if you see the ugly in people, the more ugly they will become. If you see the beautiful in people, the more beautiful they will become. There's another movie called Shallow Hell with uh, Jack Black and Gwyneth Paltrow that sort of uh, also takes this concept 
into, you know, <laughs> manifestation on the screen where he sees her and he sees her true beauty and no one else sees the same thing that he sees but uh, that is his reality because that's the way he sees it and uh, so that that that's what we can do to people is when we say and there's actually a Sanskrit term that there's a whole um, enlightened community that they use called Namaste and it means literally the divine in me recognizes and honors the divine in you and isn't that beautiful that when we look at somebody and we see who they are, who they really are, the core of their soul, which is a being of light and goodness. And that um, I know some of the other uh, people, I know Marianne Williamson talks about the, the things that we do that are beneath us are not really us. And so this is the power of optimism is to see in people and to see in events that transpire what is good so that your reality is literally transformed into something that is magnificent that is deserving of the amazing you that is divine the amazing you that is wonderful and loving and beholden of all the good qualities of mankind if you don't see that in yourself allow me to be the first one to peer into the goodness of your soul and let that take seed and grow because everybody that you meet when you see their goodness it stirs a little something inside of them and what that is is an awakening of your true self so thanks for watching and remember that it's not necessarily that seeing is believing but believing is seeing I'm Diane, one of five awesome optimists.